transport. Wait a second. Now, you think you can really travel with that ankle? I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, it's easy. I mean, the flight attendants can and help her. I mean, if she needs to get home, you know, they prop it up on uh, some ice, you know, put around it and pack it in. It's not like she's walking back to New York. <laughs> just the plane will do all the work. Well, I just don't think it's a good idea. I think she should stay off that ankle. What do you think, Bobby? Should she stay off it? Well, actually, Scott, I think you're absolutely right. Um, you know, there is going to be some swelling and some tenderness. So, um, it'd be good if you could stay an extra day or so. Well, there you go. And she is a professional nurse. She knows what she's talking about, and I agree. All right, well, I'll stay one more night at the hotel. Good. We'll go to the hotel, we'll tell them, and then, um, we'll have dinner at the grill. That sounds good. Uh, this may be a stupid question, but are you hungry? I think dinner is a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have to go. Take care of your ankle. I will. Hey, Bobby, why don't you come with us? Well, thank you very much, Scott. I appreciate the invitation. But I can't. I promised Monica I would stop by Jason's graduation party. Oh. I'll take a rain check, though. You got it. Well, thank you, Bobby. Thanks, everybody, for being so concerned about my stupid ankle. Well, I don't think it's a stupid ankle. Do you, Lucy? No, no, I don't think it's stupid at all. I think it's a very smart ankle. Why, well, hey, I uh, know, uh, I was joking. Just a little joke. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a regular laugh riot, this one over here all the time. Uh, well, this is me living. Take care of that ankle. I will. So long. So now let me ask you something. Have you had any experience with these uh, crutches here? No, not really. Well, I have. I spent two summers in a row as a kid on crutches. Really? What'd you do? Well, let's see. The first summer, I was eating this ice cream cone. I was roller skating at the same time. <laughs> and um, I just went. And that was the... Cracked my <laughs> ankle, and that was the end of that. And then the second summer, the next summer, uh -huh. was a pogo stick. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. um, you know, I never knew that, Scott. Well, you don't know everything about me. A pogo stick. Pogo stick, yeah. I, well, what happened was I was going to set this, this record inside. I was starting at the top of the stairs <laughs> up, you know, and I was going to pogo all the way down. When I got uh -huh. to the basement, one of the steps, maybe like five steps up, just gave way. And, <laughs> well, it's not, you know. Anyway, the trick to these things is you got to really know how to work them. you got to use them like legs, you know, uh -huh. just like legs. So, oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, what you do is, you see, you can do two different moves. You do where you go like this, and then careful, it's a hop, careful. hop, stay away from slippery rugs, or, or <laughs> just use it, just feel your way along that little feet, moving, moving along, just slowly, 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 like that. Let me ask you something. What kind of fresh fruit do you have? We have strawberries, raspberries, and some melon. I was actually thinking of a... Big fat chocolate souffle. Don't you think fresh fruit would be better? Better for who? For better tasting? Better for my body? Better for what? Just better. Just better. Healthier. That kind of thing. You know, you got to think healthy all the time. Health is very important. Thank you. Eat Thank properly. You. Good. I will have this later. Good. Very good. Good for you. Good for you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's the ankle? Propped up okay? Yeah, it's fine. Really. Do you need a little ice? Ice it down? Scott, really, I don't need a special ice. Well, I, I feel responsible. You know, here I was walking down the street just yakking away, yak, yak, yak. <laughs> and then, you know, I mean, we weren't paying attention because I was talking. And, of course, if I hadn't come along and I did. Yes, I know. You keep saying that. I think I should keep saying that and saying it, at least for a while. Well, you know what? I'm going to go uh, check with the hotel here and make sure that they keep your room. So uh, I'll be right back. You two... Thank you. You know, Lucy, I really wanted to thank you for saving my life. Oh, well, it, it was really nothing. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. No, I feel extremely lucky to be alive right now. I want to thank you. Ah, well, it's okay. Um, you know, I have this feeling that uh, you are very lucky for um, having known Dominique as long as you did. I think you're right. How long did you know her? Oh, gosh, yeah. Since we were kids. And what about you? Me? How long did you know? Oh, um, well, I actually, I, I knew her quite a while uh, before, but then I, I got to be good friends with her the last couple of months. It wasn't long enough, however. Yeah, I know what you mean. She was a good friend. The best. Probably one of the only ones I've had, actually. And, she was just such a good person, you know, and I, I used to watch all the good things she would do for people, and somehow she had this knack of bringing good things out in me, which I didn't even have to think about. 
she was amazing. I don't know if you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I do. <laughs> she had a real talent for bringing up the best in people. I'm having a hard time accepting the fact that she's gone through my life forever. And she was such a good, sweet person. Yeah, I can't quite accept the whole thing myself. Such a tragedy, really. Especially since she found such a terrific guy like Scott to have the husband. Like a mindless eating machine. And it's not very funny. I am eating for two, you know. Oh, so that's why you've been eating all those crackers. You're pregnant. That's right. I am. I'm, um, carrying Scott's baby. Scott? <coughs> um, she, um, uh, what she means, uh, could you ex explain, explain what you just, ex just an explanation, explain, Lucy. Well, I am pregnant, but it's not my baby. Not yours. No, um, not exactly. I am what you call a gestation host, but shouldn't it be hostess? Shouldn't it be hostess fits me better than host? She's carrying, um, Dominique and my baby. I see, I think. <laughs> well, okay, here's the... Dominique wanted a baby more than anything else in the world. And she didn't want me to be left alone. And Lucy, uh... Yeah, and, and... It was Dominique's idea for Lucy, and... I mean, I, of course, agreed. That is really a wonderful thing you did. And how wonderful for you to have Dominique's child. What's the matter? Well, it really just sort of breaks my heart that Dominique won't be here to raise her own child. Do you think it helps us crutch just to get to the elevator? I don't have command of them yet. Well, uh, you know, you didn't even touch your raspberries here. You didn't finish them at all. Uh-huh, what? There you go. Well, I was just saying you didn't touch your raspberries, so perhaps I'll eat them. You know, fresh fruit for the help baby. Help yourself, help yourself. Okay, now you're all right. Now remember how right. I taught you to work these. Right. right. One, two. Boom, boom. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to be on that long, Miss Crawford. Yes. The front desk clerk forgot to give you this phone message. Hey, here you go. Thank you. Oh, there's this one. Strange. There'll be nothing here. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing, really. Uh, you want me to help you get through your No, room? I'm fine. Thank you. Good night. The glass is dead in the pain. You know, it really doesn't hurt that much anymore. I mean, the sprain feels a lot better. And that's why I've decided I'm going to go back to New York in the morning. Um, do you, do you have to? I mean, is, is that necessary? Well, I feel like it's time to get on with my life. Well, I, I, I don't really feel that way. Um, actually, you know, um, having, having you here and telling me these stories about you and Dominique as, as kids has, has, it's helped me a lot. And I just, I just don't feel I can, I can let that go just yet. I understand, Scott. I really do. I mean, I've been going through the same thing, trying to hold on to the memories and relive every moment. <laughs> but I've been going through this a little longer than you, and I, I feel like it's time to go for life. Yeah, well, I mean, um, you could maybe stay another day here. I mean, uh, New York's not going any place. Uh, unless somebody or, or something is, is, you know, you got to get back No, to no, not really. You know, I moved to New York right after I got married, and I never had an opportunity to meet anybody, any friends or anything. And then when Charles died, I... I found myself so isolated and alone, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know the feeling. Oh, come on. You have a baby to look forward to. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's, um, it's just, you know, it's, it's great, but it, it, it's kind of... It, it frightens me a little bit. Oh, come on. Kids aren't so scary. Well, no, not that the kids are scary. It's, it's, um, I just don't know what kind of a single parent I'm going to make. Uh, Dominique, she, she really convinced me that I, I was going to be this, this great father. But now that she's, she's 
gone. I, I, I just have all these regrets about whether or not I'm going to be able to do it. It's really a wonderful thing that Lucy's doing for your baby. I mean, she must be such a loving and caring woman. Yeah, she is. You know, tell me what made you pick Lucy to carry the baby. 